Hi friends and welcome to my channel, Happy Out Home. I'm Denise and I'm so happy to have you here with me today. In today's video, it's gonna be a little bit of this and that. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my Christmas. I am gonna show you a couple fabulous chairs, if you like it, that I um, recently received. And I'm going to show you how to frame a picture in a floating frame. And then at the end of the video, I am going to show you some outfits that I've put together for those of you that are, are interested in um, some styling tips or um, interested in just mixing and matching and playing around a little bit more with some outfits. So I hope you will stay with me for the whole video and I'm so happy to have you here. So I wanted to talk, I guess, first um, a little bit about my Christmas. Again, hope you all had a fabulous, fabulous Christmas and you're enjoying the season and you are just home relaxing with your family and your friends because that's what this week between Christmas and New Year's is about, right? Just kind of chilling and unwinding before things start back up for the new year. I am home, I am sitting around, I am cleaning, I'm doing laundry, I'm organizing, I am starting a little bit to undecorate very slightly, um, just a few things, uh, taking a few things down, but most of it was just like cleaning up the trash and the paper and putting things away from Christmas and just kind of getting organized. Um, but I, I want to talk to a little bit, tell you a little bit about my Christmas. Um, for o overall, it was it was pretty good. Um, I know, you know, I mentioned to well in one of my videos that you know going through tough time, and um, so I wasn't sure how I was going to feel going into Christmas, and you know. There were things that brought me great joy and other things that did not. So first of all, starting the Christmas season, you know, I shared with you earlier, I was having a really hard time getting into the Christmas spirit and pulling out, you know, my Christmas decorations and starting to decorate my home and sharing it with you all really helped lift my spirit. Um, I find decorating very therapeutic and creating a beautiful space and sharing it and having others appreciate it and giving other people ideas is what I am here for. And I'm so happy to be able to inspire you all because you all have given me a lot and I really, really do enjoy that. So I found great comfort, peace and happiness in decorating and sharing my home with you. Another thing that brought me happiness this season is being with family, being with family and friends and filling my home with laughter and happiness and joy is, is wonderful. You know, being with family and friends just always is very, very comforting. So that's always a great experience. What I didn't enjoy at all, and I struggle with this a lot of years, is the shopping and going to a mall, even though they're beautiful sites and you know Santa Claus and everything's decorated so beautifully and I enjoy seeing all that. Just the act of going in and having to find something, you know, for your friends and your family and that whole gift giving experience, I just, I always struggle with it. And I think it's because we all have so much that, you know, it's, I feel sometimes we're just going through an act of trying to find something just to give it because it's Christmas and that's what we do at Christmas time. So I do always struggle with that. And then I always think about all of the children out there that are so much less fortunate and that are, have really difficult lives. So to o overcome that, I, you know, I go online and I give to my favorite charities and find some local organizations that I can give to for children because Lord knows there are so many people, so many children in the world today struggling. And that is the thing that bothers me the most about shopping for Christmas. And the way that I can feel better is just by giving to 
you know, some of the less fortunate. So I am sitting here today in sweatpants. Yes, I'm just chilling, sitting, and I'm eating a box of peanut brittle. Yes. Um, so I have to like be in my sweatpants to do that. Um, makes me feel better. <laughs> but at the end of the video, I want to show you some outfits that I have put together that I share on Instagram. You know, just like decorating a home and trying different styles and playing around with different things. I love doing the exact same thing with clothes. I, I, I love, you know, like buying a new outfit. You know, I try to get like really good deals on them and just kind of like mixing and matching uh, different styles and tops and belts and jackets and seeing what works and what doesn't. It's very similar to decorating a home. We're kind of like decorating ourselves with accessories and clothes and what looks good on um, certain body types and what doesn't. So I love playing around with that. I'm going to show you a few photos at the end, so I hope you'll stick around for that. But I do want to show you this, these fabulous new chairs that I have received that I want to tell you a little bit more about. They are now in my family room and I wish I had, had them for Christmas. They just arrived. I didn't have them for Christmas, but they are perfect. So I just want to tell you a little bit more about them. So I want to thank my amazing sponsor, Lou Bona, for sending me these two amazing chairs. Many of you know I don't do a lot of sponsorships, but before accepting one, I do some research and I make sure that it is a company that I can get behind before I recommend a product. So these two chairs, check them out. They are perfect for the space. They are folding chairs. As you know, this is my family room and I really just have the sofa table and two side tables, so I needed extra seating. But I, you know, at times where it's just me, I don't want a lot of furniture around. So the fact that these are folding chairs that I can bring out anytime when guests come over, they would have been perfect for Christmas time. I mean, they are just fabulous. And the fact that I can put them away, store them when I don't need them, they're so easy to fold. And look at the wood. So this is actually what is called rubber wood. And this is a rope. Very comfortable. There are low profile chairs. And the rubber wood looks exactly like real wood. The only assembly with it was to install this one bar in the back. Um, a handy Allen wrench was supplied and I just attached that one bar and secured all of the other screws. There are a couple of other screws that did need to be secured. And that is all I did. They're heavy. I ha not not heavy when I say heavy, I don't mean heavy, you know, where they're cumbersome, but they are good quality solid chairs. Not too heavy to move, but they just are good good chairs and comfortable, and I love the fact that they are folding. So, I did want to show you these. This is the color natural. I think there are three colors that they come in. And they were boxed very well. Um, I didn't show you an unboxing because when I went outside, they had been sitting in the rain and my FedEx person did not put them in a covered area, um, but left them in the rain. So when I saw the box, I was like, oh no, I hope the chairs are okay. And I opened them and inside they were packaged well in bubble wrap and plastic. So even though a little bit of rain had gone through the cardboard, they the, the chairs weren't damaged at all. So I was very happy about that. So I do very much like them and love the fact that they are folding and I can bring them out any time that I like. 
And I also wanted to tell you that I have a special coupon code for you all, DeniseM15, to get 15% off your purchase. And uh, yeah, I do encourage you to take a look and see what other chairs they have. They have a lot of outer Rondeck chairs, you know, for the patio. I encourage you to take a look at the website. I will put it, put a link to the website. And again, use it, Denise M15 for 15% off your purchase if you are interested. So now I am going to talk a little bit about how I put the frame on that picture on my back wall in this very pretty Christmas scene that I have. And I hope um, you all will stick around to see that too. Okay, so this isn't just an idea for Christmas. This is something that can be done all year long, you know, any season, but it's something just to kind of like elevate your decor. Um, take something that's sort of a little inexpensive looking and just give it more of a rich feel or an up upgraded look. And that is about all about adding frames to your picture, to your wall decor. So I bought this really pretty picture from Hobby Lobby, a Christmas picture, but it didn't come with a frame. And you know, pictures always look better. They always look better with frames. So I am gonna take this picture and I'm gonna put a frame on it and put it on the wall and to give it more of an updated feel. Let me show you this Christmas picture. Isn't this pretty? I saw this at Hobby Lobby. I absolutely loved it with the creams and the browns with a little touch of green. It is such a pretty winter look. Absolutely, absolutely fell in love with it. Really wish that it had a frame. It didn't. So I brought it home, put it on the wall. Yes, looks cute, you know, but it's also a picture that isn't just for Christmas, but I can keep this up throughout the winter season. So I thought it was worth investing just a little bit more into the picture and buy a frame for it. So that is what I did. Here we go. This is what I bought. It is, it already came pre-assembled, so that's great. It actually, it, it wasn't like cheap. It wasn't inexpensive. And it was actually more than the picture itself because I got 50% off on the picture. So I did pay a little bit more for it and I thought twice about it. I'm like, do I really want to do this? And I was like, you know, if it were just a Christmas picture that I could only have up for a month, Maybe I would, but since it was a winter picture I could have up for three months, I'm like, I, I like it enough to spend the money on the frame. So that's what I did. So a little bit about this. This is a floating picture frame. So what does that mean? It is a picture frame. It has a lip on it. So you do need to, when you are looking how to do this, you do need to measure the, um, depth of your picture. Mine was, um, I think one and a half inches. So I looked for a frame that was one and a half inches because I didn't want it to sit over the top and I didn't want it to be too far back. I wanted it to sit directly on this ledge. So this fit the bill and I picked a gold frame and it seems to be of decent quality. Um, so I'm going to attach it to my picture and see how it looks. What do you all think about this idea? I don't know, it's the first time I'm doing it, so it could go horribly wrong and I could mess everything up and be left with a big old mess, but I hope that's not the case. Okay, um, I'm gonna insert a little clip here um, when I unboxed it on how it came packaged to let you see that. So hold on. So I'm just unwrapping this frame that I purchased to put around a Christmas picture of mine. It seems to be fairly well packaged. It is in a wooden frame. It has like a little hanging kit. Let's see. 
this is what the frame looks like. It has a gold border, and this is going to be the border, and then the picture is going to sit inside, um, sit on top of that ledge. So it seems to be in pretty good condition. You know, I don't need to put it together. Some of the kits, uh, you do have to assemble yourself, but this one, I do not. So I'm going to put the picture in and see how this looks. Kind of excited to see it. Okay, so I'm back. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is I put the frame on the picture. It's great because it does come with pre-drilled holes in the back, which is super helpful. So, you know, I put it face down and I put the frame over it and I looked at it and I assessed the situation. I'm like, okay, we're gonna drill these nails, which did come with the frame, into the canvas. But I think what I am going to do is, you know, the canvas comes already with these, you know, pre-drilled little attachments to hang the picture. I'm gonna remove these because I noticed when I put on the frame, it's causing the frame to sit up a little bit. So, you know, it's probably not the worst thing in the world. I guess I could take the screws and, you know, kind of get it down into the frame as far as possible. But I think I'll get a better job if I go through the trouble to remove these two um, picture hooks. So that is what I'm gonna do first. I put my glasses on to do this. Super easy to come off. I'm not using an electric screwdriver. Okay, very easy, only taking a couple minutes and we're done. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, if you all have ever bought these frames, you know how they come. They come with little pieces of um, cardboard on the four corners, which I've already removed, but those four corners are stapled into the frame. So sometimes when you pull the cardboard up, it leaves the staples in the side. So I'm gonna go around and just remove those extra staples that are sticking up, that are stuck to the cardboard. Just gonna remove these few little staples that are around that are just sticking up a little high, which isn't going to allow me to um, get as close to the frame as I want. So they're just a few of them because the whole canvas is stapled down to the frame anyway. All right, so I think now I am ready to start attaching the screws and screwing the frame into my picture. You guys excited about this? I am. I think it's gonna look pretty. Oh, one thing I did mention, uh, one thing I do need to mention, when you are looking for a frame, it wasn't exact, like it's not gonna butt up right against the frame. I think there was maybe like a half an inch difference. I think the, f the picture, I don't remember exactly um, uh, what the numbers were, but it wasn't exactly where it was gonna have a snug fit. There is gonna be a little bit of a border, which is fine. You know, the way that these, frames come, you know, there's black on the inside. So when you do put the picture up to it, you know, you can see just a little bit of the border and I don't think it's a big deal, but so just to kind of know that up front. And I don't think there, are, in looking at the back of this, I don't think there is any top bottom. It looks like all of the holes 
are the same and get this in as evenly as possible since I can't see the other side. Um, so, you know, I probably want to turn this around, see how it looks, just so that it's even on all sides. You know, and there's the same amount of show in all four corners, which is going to be, I don't know, maybe like a quarter of an inch, half an inch. So it's not going to be perfect, but I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's a little bit more on the sides than on the top and the bottom, but it's okay. I mean, it's pretty. It definitely adds something to it to add a frame. So I'm going to turn this back over, try to get it as even as possible as I think it's going to be. I'm going to try to have the same amount of show on each side. You know, before I do that, I am going to measure these sides just to make sure that they're the same because if there is a slight difference, then that's going to make a difference. So, so I measured the sides. They are the same. What's throwing me off is on this left, left side, the way that the fabric overlaps on the back side, the piece is longer. So there's a larger white piece showing and it's cut on the other side. So the look of it was throwing me off and that's where it was looking like this side was thicker than this side. So I think I've got it fairly even with maybe just like a quarter inch overlap on each side. And now I'm just gonna screw in in the pre-drilled holes with a Phillips screwdriver and it goes in very easily. I have got all of the screws in and I think I did it pretty even. You guys ready to see what it looks like? Ready? What do you think? Looks good. I really like it. I think it's pretty much even on all the sides. A little closer together on the top and bottom. The sides have a wider gap, both sides, than the top and the bottom does for some reason. That's just, I guess, the way it is. It's supposed to be a full 30 by 30, but anyway, so it looks good. I really like it. I am going to now attach fasteners, um, you know, the ones that I took off of the painting. The kit did come with ones in here, but they did not like pre-drill the holes, which I don't know, I guess it's not a huge deal, right? I just do my own. I think I just need to, um, measure really carefully to make sure that they're going to be even on both sides. And they also gave a cord, which they recommend for, you know, attaching a cord, which I guess is one way to do it. I guess since you could also um, use a hook, use nails on each side, but I guess I could try it this way. So, all right, I'm going to do some measuring and then I am going to attach these little side brackets. Stay tuned. With those little side hooks and I measured roughly nine inches down. No super significance to that number other than it looked like a good number. <laughs> so I went nine inches on the ruler from the very tip of the frame nine inches down and then I just put 
the head of this, I put it on the frame. I took a magic marker and, you know, put a dot in the hole so I would know where to um, screw in the heads. And that is what I did. So I've put two of them in so far. Now I'm just gonna put the other two in and then we should be good to go to get this picture hung. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Sometimes when you're screwing and you hear a little cracking, <laughs> not sure that's concerning or not, but you know, as long as I don't turn it over and the frame's not completely cracked. So I would just say, just be careful, you know, I mean, this I'm sure it's not solid wood. Um, so just kind of be careful and not screw in all the way, you know, where you keep going and going. I mean, if it sounds like it's stopping, I would just, you know, leave it be. So it looks like that's about as far as it could go. Turn it over. Yep, I did it the right way. <laughs> Because what you don't want is to flip it over and then realize you put the hooks on the downward and your picture is not going to hang. So I did it the right way. Yay. Okay, so now I'm going to attach this string. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the string. I feel like this could come undone, but I don't know. I guess create these like little like knots on the side. Sure how secure this is, but I guess it this way you only put one hole in the wall instead of two. So just gonna put little knots on the side, but you want to make sure that the string is gonna be short enough where it's not showing. It's got to go below the picture frame. So that gives you enough length to make sure that it's not going to do that. All right, does it feel secure? I don't know. I guess. All right, well, there we go. Um, I'm going to hang this on the wall. I have another little um, surprise that I'm going to add to it on the wall. So I hope you will stay to see what it looks like in the end. All right, I'll be back. I mean, the picture is a little small for, for the wall. It's a large wall, um, but that's okay. That's okay. This is not a permanent picture. This is just a Christmas picture, but I really do like it. And I hung it eight to 10 inches. So when you do hang something above a sofa, it's supposed to be eight to 10 inches above the bottom of your sofa. So I hung this at nine inches. So I do have a little something that I'm gonna add to it that it that is gonna dress it up a little bit more and make it pop. All right, guys, I came up with a little bit of a solution for my big blank wall. What do you think of this? I added a banner to the picture. It says, Merry Christmas. It's a long velvet banner and I really like it. It just adds, well, it adds another dimension, but it also just takes up some of the very large wall space. You know, I put it diagonally across the picture and I really like the way it looks. What do you all think? Drop a comment, let me know. Let me know what you think about this. I will link all of the, um, the, the products, as many as I can find that are available, but certainly the picture frame that I'm using. And again, I think it's just a great way to dress up one of those very plain pictures, you know, that you get at the store and just kind of like elevate your style. All right. So the first couple outfits I wanted to show you are just really easy, flowy dresses paired with tall boots. Very easy to wear and very fun. And then these next couple outfits are just a pair of dark denim pants, stiletto boots, and silk blouses tucked in at the front. I just love these wide belts. 
I never thought I was a belt person, but I think that's because I never had the right belts. The thicker belts are just perfect. They add the right amount of drama and they look really good. And using those same flared bottom pants and button fly jeans, I am pairing them with a dickie. A dicky, if you're not familiar with it, is a jacket that has the like a sweatshirt or a sweater actually sewn into it. So it can be removed. So that sweatshirt piece can be taken off and you can wear just the jacket as it is. But I love putting them together for a more casual look. For a more dressed up look, you can just pair a jacket with a plain camisole uh, spaghetti strap um, top and with the button fly jeans and I love the combination rolled up sleeves stiletto boots perfect evening outfit and then to take your outfit to the next level a little bit more of like a country club look is I love Lau love Ralph Lauren and this Ralph Lauren jacket I just love with a little detail of a brown leather on the pockets paired with a nice stiff white shirt is just perfect and here I am again with a nice thick leather belt that I just love and then lastly, I just wanted to show you, this is the outfit, but just removing the jacket. So it's a pair of brown corduroy pants, stiletto suede boots, a brown thick leather belt, and a white polo shirt. I hope you all like them. Drop me a comment. Let me know which one was your favorite. Would you like to see more of this type of stuff? Not interested? Just kind of throwing it out there to see what you all are interested. As I mentioned, I wanted to, you know, talk about other things and other topics. So um, if any of you are interested in seeing more of this, let me know. And I will talk to you all soon. Please like and subscribe. You all are incredibly awesome, and I can't wait to see you again. Okay, take care. Bye.